Press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Hello friends, this is Kunal and welcome to the Photography Blogger. And as you can see, today I have this beautiful looking smartphone by Gioni with me and this is called M7 Power. And in this video, I'll be talking about the camera view of Gioni M7 Power. So let's get started. Now talking about the rear camera, the M7 Power has a 13 megapixel f2 camera sitting on it and one of the key USPs of this camera is that it allows you to click 3D photos and it has the manual mode as well. And talking about the video, it allows you to shoot a video at 1080p. Now coming on to the front camera, it has an 8 megapixel at f2.2 and it allows you to get the blur effect while clicking selfies and it also features the screen flash. So before I take you through the camera overview, let me tell you guys, this beast over here has a battery of 5000 mAh, which is just perfect for a photographer. And if you talk about the display, it has a 6 inch 18 is to 9 display over here, which looks almost bezel-less and it really looks appealing to me. Now as I open the camera app, okay wait, let me put a subject over here first and then I'll take you through the overview. So here's the subject over here. Now talking about the overview of this camera app, the first thing that you'd see is that the camera is on photo mode which is the automatic mode. So now I'll just click a photo and show you guys how the result comes out to. So while you're framing your photo, you can tap on the subject where you want the focus to be and adjust the exposure accordingly. Unfortunately this does not allow you to lock the focus. That's something missing over here but that's not a major difference because I usually tap two or three times on the subject to set the focus point. So guys, here's the photo that I clicked using the auto mode. Looks decent to me right now. I would have to go and test it in different conditions to know the actual review of this camera. And by going into the information section, we can clearly see over here that the photo is clicked at F2 and the ISO has been chosen the minimum which is 100 over here. And the shutter speed 1 by 33 which is decent as per a smartphone. But this may vary in different lighting conditions. So on the main screen just above where the photo is written, you'll find an icon written with 1x. It is basically it allows you to do 2x zoom by just tapping on that button. Now if we go into the video mode, the video quality that you can shoot at is the maximum at 180p, then you have 720p, 480p and another low mode. So these are the qualities at which you can shoot video. Now coming on to the next mode which is panorama. So over here you can click panorama photos. So I'll not take you through it because it's common in all the smartphones nowadays. Now coming to the most interesting part of this camera which is the 3D photo. So let me take out the phone from this stand and show you guys practically how this 3D photo works. Now once you are into the 3D photo mode what you have to do is have a subject in the frame, take your photo, frame the scene and simply tap on the subject to set the focus. Now press the shutter button and keep moving the phone. So now as you move the phone, what the phone does is it's taking multiple photos. And once you are done clicking this thing, press the shutter button again and this thing stops. Now let me show you how this 3D photo looks. So what you have to do is you have to open the gallery and click on the 3D mode. So once you do that, just swipe the screen left and right and you'll see the 3D effect. It really looks interesting. I would, I would definitely be trying something with it and I'll have to see if it's somehow shareable on social media but I'm not that too sure right now. So now is the face beauty mode. So all of you who love clicking selfies, here you have some filters such as you can adjust the smoothness, whitening, slimming the face and the eye extension. I think you can adjust the eye size over here. Now coming on to the next mode which is card scanner. Again, if you wish to scan a card and keep it as a document that can be done using this mode. Now coming to my favorite mode which is the professional mode. The professional mode what it allows you to do is starting with exposure compensation, you can adjust the brightness or darkness of the photo photo then ISO you can use the ISO numbers the higher the ISO number more the brightness but more brightness means more grains in the photo so try and keep the ISO to minimum as possible then you have white balance presets such as cloudy daylight fluorescent and incandescent now talking about the shutter speed this phone allows you to go to as high as 12 seconds which is really good and as low as 1 by 30 in manual but automatically I think it can go up to really high shutter speed. And talking about the focus distance, using this thing you can manually select the focus distance from infinity to macro. So it depends upon where your subject is placed. 
You can also tap on this icon and explore a different kind of UI over here which allows you to use manual mode in much more efficient way. I would prefer this way. So over here you can adjust all the things which I just showed you and it's everything on the same screen. Also before I end this video let me also take you through the setting tab. So over here you can see the capture modes can be adjusted from normal to touch. Then you have auto scene you can adjust if you want the camera to adjust the scenes automatically. Then you have the fingerprint mode. I don't know what it exactly is. I'll be trying it out in the detailed review. Then the sound icon if you want the shutter sound to be on or off. Picture size. So over here if you like clicking 16 is to 9 photo you can do that but that would result in 10 megapixel photo. Also you can take 1 is to 1 photo at 10 megapixel. But if you want the highest 13 megapixel photo you have to shoot it at 4 is to 3. Then you have the countdown which is the timer. I usually prefer keeping it to 2 seconds. Then you have geotagging if you want the photo to be tagged or not. So guys that's it from this camera overview of Geoni M7 Power. Do let me know in the comment section what you think about this phone. I'll be doing a detailed review very soon which I'll be out on my channel. If you want let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and till the next video take care.